Well, would you like me to write this on the board? Yes. What the hell, right? All right, so I'm going to trim off the side, side fins here. Have you ever seen Billy or something like that? This one has guts in it. It yes. does, yep. Do you want to stop that? Way this again? Like it yes, I do. Oh, Thank so you for you saying that. Do. I'm going to do it right now. All right, first you're going to weigh it. And when you bring it up to me, you're going to bring your yield sheet at the same time so I can see that you did it, okay? Okay, 42.20. are here so it's this side the belly's right here soft you can see these little fins down there so I'm gonna come in I've got a lot of good meat up here so I don't want to lose that meat knife goes in I you did it on the stomach side first I don't know why I thought that cut all the way down to the bottom of the board right all the way down this is not the time to be a big baby right so when you cut down to the bottom of the board, you got to freaking force it through that backbone, all right? Suck it up, people. Force it through. Who's the boss here, all right? You are, not the fish. I'm the boss. I'm the boss, and I'm going to cut your head off. Okay, so... Finish uh, it. Okay, now it's twisty time. Finish it. Away from you or towards you, whichever you choose. Okay, it's out. Okay. I got it down so it's just skin. I can put it on my board now, make a little cut. Okay. Nobody in the stomach. Too bad. All right now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to rinse it off. And I'm really going to get in there and break up the board flat. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's not special. That's more good. Right? It's not like it's dark. Wait, wasn't one of the kids up longer? Like, wasn't one of the kids up longer? Like, wasn't one of the kids up longer? Hey, we can't wonder at least. We did. Yeah, he cried. And there's the egg sacs, so we know it's in All you all all you need is all you need is the pits and pits of the frog. So we always want to get the blood clots out of the out of the fish because if we don't, people, when I'm talking, you're not, okay? So the blood clots on the fish, we need to get out because if we don't, it can stain that super white flesh, all right? So we always want to make sure that we're not staining and all that gush that's in the stomach, we want to make sure that's not going to stain our fish either. All right, I'm just wiping it down so it's dry. If you start to slide around, get a piece of paper towel and put it underneath your fish so you can hold on to it there. Now what am I going to do? We got to cut by the tail. Right down, cut the tail. Cut the tail, bit. always cut the tail. So I'm just going to put this away. I'm done with that now. I'm going to go back to my fish knife. And I have a large fish knife and a small fish knife, all right? So this is what I use when I'm doing larger fish like salmon or something like that. Okay. More fun things for you to think about and buy, right? So hold yourself back, but eventually it's a nice thing to have. All right, so I don't want to waste good meat down here, so I'm going pretty low on the tail here. Remember, you're going to have all those 
I've got an extra towel for myself because I find it annoying to just keep going for um, paper towels all the time. But remember the the um, scales are going to interfere. All right. Now I'm going to cut up the line. Okay. So I'm always trying to really stay on that line because then I really divide that fish in half. All right. Some of you had a tiny piece of meat uh, extra kind of hanging on to one side, and that was because you jumped sides. White beam. Are you going all the way down on the board, Chef, or is that No. Okay. No, we never want to go all the way down on our board on this. So it's stopping it. It's okay. the, the frame, the skeleton of the fish is stopping me. And all the way through there, all right? Now I'm just gonna wipe my fish off a little bit and get some of those scales out of the way. All right, now I'm gonna start cutting back. And I always cut towards myself on this because it's so covered, I, I have no worry that uh, I'm gonna cut myself, all right? And sometimes, depending on what angle I'm at, I'll start on the tail and work up. Like when I'm starting on the other side, I might start with the tail and work up. Whatever's comfortable for me. And when I get down to this part, I'm not stopping. I'm, my knife is going all the way through, all oh, right? I didn't do that. Yeah, so that's where some of you had like this little ridge. No, all the, all the skin comes off. I did, I, but I opened it up and then I cut it. Oh, yeah. So Which just, made it messy. Uh huh. So it's easy. Sometimes on the tail, you might have to do it. But there we go. All right. Okay. Put there for a minute. And be careful how hard you press. Some of you like press so hard that you that you cut through some of the bones there too. So um, you know you're the boss of the fish now. You don't have to struggle anymore. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. All right. Now I'm just making a cut to get started. I made a long cut there. And now on this guy. It's a little awkward for me because the big part's over here. I'm going to start with the tail and move over. tail cut, keep wiping, now I'm going to go right up the seam. It's so nice to provide you the seam. I know, isn't it nice? It really is, yeah. And you know what's fun is when you do get a big halibut, you get to break that down. Yeah, the, I mean, big fish are fun. I find a hard, small fish harder to clean than a big fish. A big fish is just uh, amazing. And you get that real sense of accomplishment when you're done, too. How long does a big halibut or tuna take? Uh, not very long. It isn't, you know? I mean, they're so, you know, this is so simple, really, you know? They're so big. Yeah. But, you know, that it's that whole gliding motion that you're going down with your knife. And it's the same whether it's a big fish or a little fish. Is the... I don't know what you call it, but you used to have Isaacson's here, and now you Yes, don't. I know. They, they didn't so leave that long ago, yeah. Is that... Is that kind of career going away? Um, I think that because of shipping, you know, it's easier for people to get stuff flown in. But we still have, uh, there's Fortune Fish is a big one supplier to the trade, um, seafood merchants. But actually, um, Cisco has a really, really big fish division now. So it's going, you know, these, these, these were small purveyors that would provide fish to Chicago restaurants in particular. Um, so now some of the bigger corporations are getting in on it because, you know, if they can fly stuff all over, it's just not that big of a deal anymore. And if I'm getting all my stuff from Cisco anyway, if I'm, a, you know, running a hospital, I might as well get the fish from there, too. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You know, Isn't bullies are really big fish from there? They are. They're out of Boston, yeah. So um, you, you get some some really good yeah, ones on the East Coast. Like, like, See, that's really, and that was here, right? So they had um, it all. Well, it was in Ohio. So uh huh. Here, they would get it flown out there, though. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting. Does that mean the bone has to it? It might have, or this might have just split. I think it actually just kind of cracked a little bit. So I don't think I'll have a bone in there, but I'll always check. Now, if I did have a bone, it's probably 
right down here. Let's feel. I don't feel it on there, so. Don't cut that part off anyway. Always bring me up. At, absolutely. You think about what you would want as a customer and bring that to me, okay? You would want a piece of fish without any bones, even scales on it, too. Sometimes if we see scales around, we rinse the fish off or we wipe it down with a damp cloth as well. So now I'm going to start on this side. Yes, wild salmon. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is in flavor. So, yes. So farm salmon is uh, they're raised in the sea, but they're raised in pens in the sea. Isn't that crazy? So they have just like salmon ranches. They're in corrals, and they're crowded pretty closely together. I mean, there are some, some good farms, but a lot of the farms that we have. Uh, they're really crowded together, just like, you know, you might as well be a cow, right? And, uh, and they're actually eating a lot of the same stuff that a cow would too, because they also get soybean and corn meal, just like, just like the cows do. So the texture of a, of a farm-raised salmon is really kind of flabby, um, and wild salmon can only be caught during a certain time of the year. So that season is... Um, ended now. So the wild salmon starts in the springtime and goes through the summer in wild salmon. So it is definitely worth uh, tasting a wild salmon. It's expensive, but it's just so good. So the color is usually a little more intense and it has a texture because these fish are working hard for a living, man. I mean, they're swimming throughout the ocean. I mean, somebody's not just here. Here's another, you know, biscuit for corn. you to eat, right? Here they have some more corn. Um, so, uh, so it's kind of like the beef. It is. The beef right. walk, the cows will walk around, they get better connected tissues, right. better collagen, better exactly gelatin. Exactly what they were talking about yesterday. It's like grass fed salmon, okay, except that they're in the sea. There's wild salmon here in Michigan. There is. You can get it out of the ocean here. And in fact, there is no, if you ever see uh, Atlantic salmon advertised, it's always uh, farm raised, unless you're buying it from a Native American who has the rights to still farm or to still catch <coughs> wild Atlantic salmon because we out we fish that out. So now when you see wild salmon, it's coming from the Pacific. <coughs> so we fished out all the salmon uh, that would be available for large commercial amounts, right? So there are some tribes um, that had, still have a hold on some of the wild salmon, so you can get some, some wild um, salmon. The so wild the, the, salmon, mm -hmm, the salmon that came to Lake Michigan was Atlantic salmon. So salmon spawn in fresh water and then when they, and they, it's like their nursery, okay? So the babies stay in Lake Michigan and then